Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT D I N O M I G H T. What up, Joni? Dude, everything is up. Mm. The world is up. The world looks mighty good to me, cause TNT has his Joni. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, never mind. Fuck you. Yeah, dude. I you know, know, you know, dudes. Whenever I try to like get our bro hood going, our bro hood, is yeah, that <laughs> our brodom, our brodom, our bromance, <laughs> our bro relationship. Maybe I'm trying to to extinguish the bromance <laughs> secretly. <laughs> Well, thank you all for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. We want you to be here, and we love that you're here. Whether you're watching us on YouTube under Crazy Town Media, subscribe there. Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud under Crazy Town Podcast. That's where this stuff is. You know that because you're here. That guy, he's on Twitch. TNT. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Sweat all over my neck. Yeah, the neck is sweaty, dude. So, I'm going to give you four words. And I want you to pick one. Uh, uh, one. Bull. Give you four words. Birth. Satan. Lab. Wait, can I get those again? Did you say them like that for a reason? They're they're all relative of something different. So like, what? Bull. 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 bull, bull birth. Bull, birth. Satan. Satan. Or lab. lab. <sighs> Fuck you, bull. Bull. Okay. Brentwood, New Hampshire, Florida. <gasps> I should have went Satan, dude. Why didn't I go Satan? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, whatever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Um, there was there was a man yeah. who was alerted. Yeah. Um, he's a farmer. He has a ranch. Yeah. He was alerted that he had. Two bulls on his property that were not his. <laughs> and uh were they fucking his wife? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I like it. He, yeah. It's a little racist. All right, keep going. <laughs> bulls don't have it doesn't have to be racist. No, I mean, the way I meant it, it was racist. Okay. <laughs> Fair. At least I didn't make the joke. I'm like, where the hell did these bulls come from? <laughs> um he was notified there were some bulls on his property that were not his. Oh, my uh, God. He, they alerted, like, the cops, you know, because they were, they were two angry bulls. <laughs> they found the owner. He, he lived down the road. Um, they came down. They started, like, shooing the bulls back to the property okay. that they were supposed to go. Fair enough. Um, and then they were, they were a few yards from the entrance to the, the property where they were supposed to go back. Mm-hmm. Another guy shows up. Someone completely unrelated to the scene. Um, okay, this is getting weird. What is a very stereotypical saying about bulls? Uh, bulls in a china shop? Uh If you're if you're going to be if you're going to be triumphant, you No idea, Jonas. Okay. Well, he shows up and they're like, "Sir, stay away." And he's like, "Hold my motherfucking beer." He goes up and tries to take the bull by the horns. Oh, he just grabs it. Just random strangers like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up and grab these bulls by the horns. I am not. I don't have anything to do with this situation at all. The bulls are almost home. Man ends up gored. The bulls fucking gored him because he tried to grab their fucking horns. Oh, did he die from it? He did not die. But he was, he was in the hospital with... Non life threatening but serious injuries. So goring is this when they like stab you with their horn heads with their head horns? Yeah, right? yeah, that's not good, dude. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> nope. I know it's not good, dude. I just Those always imagine like them inserting the horn into uh, you and then flipping you in the air. Yeah, because that's usually and then they stomp you, dude. Yeah, so and then they just like so stab it's like you. You have, a, you have a, a fucking large pierce wound. Then yeah. they throw you up like a rag doll, and you just like your own body weight crumples you into the ground, yeah. and then they kick you in the face for good measure. Yeah, it's they they go for basically trying to impale you with their fucking head horns, dude. 
Right. Because yeah, ideally, if they thrust like that, they want you to go farther down their horn. Not, I think they're. Uh, I think the idea isn't to like throw you. I think it's to like push the horn deeper into you. And these things are pure muscle too, man. It's absolutely nuts. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, that dude. Stupid. Like I just like, but here and here's my thing. They're like. They're like, oh yeah, dude, we're good. We don't, yeah, we're we don't have anything going on. And this random guy's like, you know what, guys, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Was his girlfriend watching? I hope so. She's like, come on, Jesse. <laughs> he does this all the time. Yeah. Oh, Jesse, there's some wild bulls. You take me by the horns every night. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can we do the Satan story, Jonas? I really <laughs> want to do Satan now. <laughs> wow. Not like, do, shut up. I want to. I want to hear wanna the do Satan. Satan. I want to hear the Satan story. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't pick it, listeners. It's that right. was a good story. We though. might be Bulls. able to get through all of them if we quick hit it. Hell yeah! Let's all go. right, dude. This is actually. I found this on Reddit under today. I learned. Okay, fair enough. I am going to educate about the Church of Satan. <laughs> Are you talking about Antoine Levey? Like the actual, you know, you hear people call themselves Satanists. Yeah, you're like the about, Church of Satan. You're talking about Antoine Levey. Yeah, yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah, the guy who created essentially. Yeah. So what I didn't know, I found this. So it's like today I learned. Uh -huh. Um, <clears throat> essentially, the people who follow people who are Satanists <laughs> do not worship Satan. No, they do not. They are atheists. Yep. They do not even believe in Satan. Majority of them and, do not. Wait, and here's I'll get into more of it what I learned. But like, why would you choose to like go by Satanist when you know the how that is perceived when like you aren't worshiping like a Satan worshiper and a Satanist are two totally different things. I mean, Satan, I know a little bit about cause, cause this. Because a Satan worshiper worships Satan. Uh, yeah, in the like, yes, technically the truth, but technically not. Yeah. I, I, Jonah, look. Well, let me tell you what I learned, and then you can supplement it with what you know. With a name like Antoine LeVay, I had to find out some stuff about this, because that is a fantastic name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. But anyway. Um, so what it said was, and actually where the link that I clicked on Reddit under today, I learned it took me to the Church of Satan's website under their fact, <laughs> frequently asked questions page. Did, so, you, did you sign up? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> uh, it says that they... The ideals of the Church of Satan, they see the universe as being indifferent to us, and all morals values are uh, are created are basically human construction. Yep. So it's like to be they're subjective. All morals and values are subjective. They're all created by humans, and uh, their theory is that to be to be self centered, they are essentially their own god. Of their own universe, because we are, we are sometimes said to worship. They're, they're said to worship themselves. Yes. And then it said like, uh, it's like the the Satan is more of like it's to stand for like liberty, individualism, like a metaphorical projection of like the highest person and being your potential. And they don't even believe as Satan as a being or a person. It's like kind of simulates like. I kind of feel like it's more just to troll the religious groups more than anything else. It's kind of like. And I can see that. Throwing the atheism in their face, kind of. And so they just call themselves Satanists and then rile up people who are really religious. Yeah, because we don't even believe in them and it just pisses them off. I think that's honestly the reason. I think it is too. Because um, it's like, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Satan worshipers are like, dude, we don't even believe in Satan. Yeah, I am not a Satanist myself. If anybody is thinking that, because I no, seem to have, I will. Like, I will vow. You just like to educate yourself on things. Yes, whether you're interested or not, like knowing yes. is half the battle. I mean, I've I've seen a documentary or two, documentary or two on it, right? As well, I think they have some interesting ideals. A lot of them kind of coincide with. Uh, with with the stoicism that I when I, I read I really that I did like. think about stoicism because yeah. it's like yeah it's like everything that we it's like we are just our own locus of control like exactly like what I, we have to it. live up to or it's all human constructed mm, some of it is but you know what like I mean you put anything in a vacuum and it, it may sound like fucking the teachings of a prophet right oh absolutely but uh yeah I don't know. It's cool, man. They believe. Look, Jonas, we got like people who spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to like concentration camps where they have their thetans read and fucking 
The, what are you talking about? Wait, Laura they Remini? go to concentration camps to have what <laughs> read? They're Thetans. They're Thetans. They're Thetan uh, count. Sure, dude. Yeah. Laura Remini and fucking Tom Cruise. Are... Oh, Scientologists. Oh. Yeah, dude. I mean, okay. What do they even believe, Jonas? We don't <laughs> know. Nobody knows what they believe. They know. They believe in Tom Cruise. No. Uh, well, yeah, because he has the highest. You know what his Thetan count is? It got out, dude. His what? His state and count, Jones. Why are you <laughs> acting like you don't know the rules and regulation? Lord Xenon came down and put Thetans into all of us. Some people have a very low Thetan count. Some people have a very high. Tom Cruise has been said to have the highest Thetan count only second to the Lord and founder of Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard Jonas, my God, man, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> where have you been? Wow, why does he have such a high fate account, dude? Don't say the count. <laughs> fate count, Phaeton, <laughs> with an E and an N. I don't know why he does, but he's basically Scientology Jesus. Scientology Jesus. Yes. And L. Ron Hubbard is Scientology God. <laughs> so, I guess Scientology God. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Yeah, dude. You know, it's like, and <clears throat> and they, I, we don't know what they believe, though. To be honest, we don't know what their views on just about anything is. But uh, it's like you kind of have to look at the people it produces, which is kind of like bad, I guess. But well, yeah. Like, well, I mean, look at that that one guy who was on that '70s show uh, who just got arrested for rape. <laughs> um, what? Danny Masterson. He was, Which one was he? He was the uh, he was uh, was he the curly kid with the glass sunglasses? Yes, Can't, okay. the, the cool guy or whatever. Can't okay, the, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He he just got arrested for rape. Damn. But it, it I read a small article about it. It it stems from uh, it was like at Scientology based. Like the girls he raped were other members of Scientology things, yeah. and like they have tried to like silence. It's like. It's like if you're in that, you're like they try to make you as untouchable as possible. Like really, it's, oh, it's like they were in. Like I think they were. It was like through like a Scientology event. These things happened. He like the girls were drunk or drugged or something. But then they tried to silence the, the the Scientologists tried to silence them as well. And, I really want to know what's happening in Scientology. Yeah, well, like, they have that, that one show. There's that one famous lady. Her name is. Uh, she was on uh, King of Queens. I can't think of her name. Laura Remini. I, yeah, yeah, and she she's done like a whole show on like the secrets yeah, of Scientology. But she just tells you the secret. I want to go to a Scientology Sunday festival or some dude, shit. Dude, you will end up them. Like where they, they bring let out you the out once you're in, dude. No, because I'll bring some collard greens and some mac and cheese, dude, and we'll be good. It ain't like you go see the the JWs, man. You go talk to them. The get JWs, out, Jehovah's Witnesses. I went to a Jehovah's Witness. Right, service. they let you leave. And I be, barely. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm dead ass at the end of my Jehovah's Witness uh, trial run. It wasn't a trial. I guess it was kind of a trial one. I went to one service at the end. I was like, are they going to be able to hold themselves back? Are they going to be able to? I'm pretty off putting. You know, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. They did. A couple of them came up. Oh, we hope to see you again. I'm like, oh, you're not getting my number, or phone, yeah, yeah, I'll, that, I'll my be address. Back if I want to. If not, yeah, they'll just show up. And be like, no, nope. brother, dynamite. <laughs> I'm not taking your pamphlet or nothing. <laughs> I've thought about that. Well, not now during Rona, but like, like you've said that you've went to a different, um, like a few different, like, oh, religious yeah. I've been services. to a, I've been to Jewish Catholic. Obviously I went to Catholic school when I was a kid. So I've been to enough mass, uh, Baptist, uh, white Baptist. Yeah. A little bit different. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Lots of stuff that I went to the fourth quarter. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you know, I think like, I think that like once once Rona's done oh, the fifth and, quarter. and you can get into like events again, I think I may do the church tour. You want to? Tr you trying to find Jesus? Fam? No, no, I I don't need to do that. You can just pay tithes to me. I will make sure you're straight. <laughs> no, but I think I want to do the church tour to like experience it yeah. because a lot, the only time I, I like I, okay, it's well known probably if you've listened to this podcast, I'm not a church guy. I've only been to church a handful of times in my life, and it's because I stayed at a friend's house that like. Their parents made them go in the morning, and I was there. Yeah. So, like, the only experience I have is being, like, a kid who was under 15 years old, who had – who did, did not want to go, was not there and interested to see what was happening. But now as, like, a grown-ass man to, like, go and just, like – 
I kind of like just sitting through experiences as I get older just to see what the hell it's like. Yeah, that's basically what I did Like when I've gone to all the different churches. I would suggest not going for an entire service because that will sour you quickly. Because <laughs> it, it, half of the experience of being in church is having the faith in, in the stuff that is being said. And if you lack that, then it just kind of like makes it like... You're like, what the hell is going on? It's like, okay, oh man, they believe that, huh? Okay, they okay, they believe that. And then it's like, okay, now this is just like, I'm just hearing propaganda so at this point. So you just leave in the middle? What the fuck? Yeah. It's, it's an open building, man. They got to make a good picture. I'm out of there. What are you talking about? So, like, wait. So, you roll in. Yeah. And then you, at the start, or you come in late. You're you're a show up late guy. Motherfucker. I would roll in and sit in the front row. Did you really? Yeah. And then walk the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Who cares? He's in the middle of talking. You just stand up. No, like, I, just, I just, stayed for the whole Jehovah's Witness. But some of the other ones, yeah. Just walk the fuck out of there, dude. I went to, like, a fucking in Erie. There was, like, a, I think it was Korean. Okay. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. It was oh, like, they were speaking Korean. Yeah, it was like some Korean. It was a Korean church, and they taught. I don't even fucking know, dude. I just walked in there, sat the fuck down, listened to fucking Korean speak for a little, a little while, and then I left. Interesting. Just, so you don't go to talk to the people. You go to just see them. Oh no. So the Jehovah, you were, is that like a test to see if they were gonna like embrace you and welcome you back? Uh no, I just wanted to hear like uh like I don't know I know a little bit about that kind of stuff because like it was always one of those things of, like it's kind of like a cult and I'm like yeah well you know I mean they all kind of are in a way yeah kind of so I don't know I just kind of wanted to experience it yeah I well, mean you took, mean you want to start a cult I do want to start a cult guys if you're listening to this and you want to be in my cult. <laughs> Hit me up at P.O. Box at Jonas's email. <laughs> Bye-bye. They can find you on stream, dude. They can talk to you about your cult no, live. that's true. You can just meet me on stream. You be there. Yeah. Heathens. Minion. Yeah. So, all right, yeah. So I just I came across that, and I was like, I did not know that the Church of Satan, the people that were Satanists, do not believe in Satan and just literally are kind of just like, yeah. Um. So does that look, make them like sociopaths, narcissists? Though, if they like see can. themselves as their own god, that's the thing. It's a slippery slope. There is like balance in all things because yes, while you have to focus on yourself to not like help a person in need, which is essentially what Satanists will be like. You ain't gotta help him. Who the fuck cares? That's not your problem. It, oh. it takes that kind of a twisted kind of turn. Oh, but I on the same you. note, they're not wrong, but that shit's wrong. Right, right, right. Like, right. if there's a person, like, bleeding on the street, like, Satan, the Church of Satan says, don't kick the man. It's basically like Ayn Rand. Uh, do all things for yourself, but at no one else's expense kind of shit. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, do not get your insult. Don't get involved with other people's business. Yeah. But do not, like... Yeah, yeah, it's like it's basically just like yeah, like you see a man bleeding, like don't go over there and like kick him and make fun of him and whatever, yes. but don't go out of your way to like go be like, hey, are you okay? Do you need help? Do you? But on the same note, it's like, hey, if somebody starts a fight with you and you kill him, you were in the right because, because he shouldn't have started shit. He didn't know who he was dealing with. That's that's another thing in Satanism. It's it's very, so it, so it sounds very um, very um, absolute, black and white. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's you know, basically do whatever the fuck you want, but don't intentionally just go out there and cause harm, which is kind of weird because I kind of feel like Satan be like, no, fuck these people up. Go shoot a baby or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> shoot a baby out of a gun. Yeah, dude, I get it. Because like, but you know, like sometimes I can be like really absolute, like, like, and then, like, and I hate, like, I'm very, I'm a very compassionate person. I have, I, I have tons of empathy, but sometimes like people are like, like, it's like, you know, for example, like, you put something off, and, like, it's the last minute, and now you're super stressed about it, and you're freaking out because you have all this stuff to do because you put it off, and sometimes I'm just like, you did that to yourself. Like, <laughs> well, you know, or, like, or, or something like, or it's just like, I you know, it's like, oh, i got to make a big family, big family dinner, and it's the day before, and I haven't even went to the grocery store, like. Yeah, you had three months to knew you knew you were doing this. Why did you wait? It's your fault. Like I'm not gonna feel bad and be like, oh, I'm so sad that you had to rush and get your mom's favorite 
pumpkin pie. Like, yeah. I find that it is most beneficial to take bits and pieces from a lot of different religions because yeah. a lot of the different religions have very viable ideals that you can incorporate into your life and still maintain like your own humanity and your own ideals so you know i listen yeah. to i listen to what all of them have to say and a lot of them say some interesting stuff i have not made it into a muslim church jonas if you know any but you said you weren't, you weren't allowed right yeah dude the dude wouldn't let me go dude he said that you can't you can't just come in a muslim church like that i mean I got to get, like, I got to, like, talk to the guy. Oh, you got to talk like, to the leader and be accepted, be vetted. Yeah. Well, especially nowadays with crazy people rolling into shirts. And, and I'm not mad shit. at that, I guess. Like, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Because, well, because I think the last thing they want is someone coming in being disrespectful. Yes. Yes. Because that would cause a very big issue. Right. Right. It's like, if you want to come in and just see what we do, cool. But you're going to come in here and mock us or shoot somebody or do something crazy. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, honestly... I give more respect to the guy who's going to punch you in the mouth for disrespecting his God than the, guy, the goddamn Scientology, Jonas. Do you know what they do to people? What? <laughs> they get them canceled, Jonas. Social media. They, they cancel culture? No, they just sue you. <laughs> they just attack your wallet. You talk about Scientology, they'll just sue you. See, that, that alone makes you feel like something's fucked up, right? Dude, we don't know what they believe, all right? I know what a lot of these other people, I know a little bit of what's in the Quran or a little bit about what Antoine LaVey was trying to teach or a little bit about uh, the Bible or even, like, I had ideas about uh, the one place I went, what were they talking about? Jehovah's Witness. I knew stuff about that yeah. because they leave their stuff all over the place. You can find a pamphlet. You can look online and see what they believe right try doing that with scientology you can't find anything online about what they believe try doing it with science that is me not knowing but me assuming oh, gotcha. that i do know yeah, to like, prove a here's point here's my um here here's my um my i guess my mon my mantra it's like um i don't i'm not a religious person i don't follow any religion i like i live my life with integrity <laughs> accountability you have way more integrity and accountability than i do <laughs> and i've been going to church my whole um, life <laughs> compassion <laughs> way more that than me empathy no, and reliability no, i probably got more empathy i got a lot of empathy dude I'm why do, how would i have more integrity and accountability than you do what was the last one uh reliability oh, all right. i feel like we're, we're about the same yeah there. Wait, I have more, like, I, I, yeah, I, I think I have a lot more empathy than you believe I do. We don't have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations to, to see you really know how much of an empath I am. <laughs> but why do you think that I have more accountability and, uh, and integrity than you? Oh, because I know that mine is lower than you. I don't know. I've known <laughs> you long enough to know that I don't you're give a... You're like, oh, your, your integrity's way higher than mine. Yeah. <laughs> We've had the whole question about, like, uh, how much have you given to the homeless or... Oh. Like, you fucking volunteered for some shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> Volunteering? <laughs> <laughs> Volunteering is not... Exactly. I'm volunteering these nuts to your mouth how about that gotcha gotcha community yeah, service like, that's like well i think i think i remember one time you said something to me and along the lines of like somebody who's never been to church <laughs> you have like a pretty good set of morals or right something, or something like that i just that. don't understand where it comes from i don't know i mean i guess like family values and shit your, your mom my parents you. weren't religious either though like, yeah but like and like I, I don't know so i don't know like if i think about it I I mean we I, we definitely grew up differently, but I don't know. yeah, I think I think maybe it came from like my parents were kind of like hippie-ish, so they were all just like yeah. be nice to people. Yeah. They weren't like they weren't like oh eat from the earth like you know they weren't super hippie, mm -hmm. but they were like I mean they were always just like nice to people and helpful and like you yeah. know that was kind of like the the like what they kind of drove into me as a child was like don't do that that's not nice you know be nice to people do this be helpful you know whatever that's true that's true i think a lot of it had to do with the fact that i was just inundated with uh with church from an early age that maybe i just kind of strayed away from it in my later life but i mean the morals are still there oh yeah absolutely the general principles yeah yeah i mean i've never been to prison or right. anything exactly I've never so. had the there's cops. many ways to do the same job whether you're religious or not mm -hmm. boom so on that note, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Um, we will catch you on the next one. 
Any final uh, final words of wisdom from the dynamite? Dude, dude, fucking Scientology call me. I want to come to a seminar. <laughs> well, it's like a timeshare. <sighs> like you come in, like first it's like the guy who's like, you know, we're a pretty nice group, and you're like, ah, oh, no, 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 I think I'm good. Then they come in and they're like, you will die if you don't. <laughs> and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> I just want to know what my fate and count is, Jonas. I need a whole. <laughs> what if you th- went in and they c- said you're better than Cruz, dude? Oh, how much is it going to cost me? Because <laughs> that's what they want. I know it. Uh, what do you well, we'll want? We'll get to the, the monetary value of your Thetans on the next episode. But for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Oh.